one of the most historic races in the world is back 2024 grand national takes place at the beautiful stunning Aintree racecourse just outside the wonderful city of Liverpool it takes place Saturday 13th of April 2024 few less runners this year we're down to 34 runners. Will that make a difference? We will see. Should reduce the look element a little bit, but we will see. Right, let's take a look at four horses I really like the look at this year. Let's begin with this beautiful horse we tipped up last year. Vanillier, stunning grey gelding train by Gavin Cromwell. Finished second last year, was chasing down Krug Rambler to the line but couldn't quite get there. Price last year was around 20 or 22 to 1. This year much shorter for Vanillier as you would expect. Not too badly treated by the handicapper either. A little bit more weight than last year but not too bad at all. 10 stone 11. So reasonable compared to last year's 10 stone 6. Certainly feel this horse has got the ability to go well again. I think that's reflected in that price. Ran, as I say, really well last year. Former Cheltenham winner in 2021. We know Vanillier should stay all day long. He's that type of horse. Really, really good, tenacious character. And I certainly feel that he has all the ability to go on and finish at least in the frame at that price. Next we move, next we move to Kitty's Light around 14 to one currently. Another one to back or look at backing each way. Really like this horse, winner of the Scottish National last year. It was a superb performance. Really skinny price as well uh, in the Scottish National. Four to one. Kitty's light went off that day. Lovely looking horse. This strained by Christian Williams. Won actually three races back to back uh, last spring in February 25th and the Scottish National on the 22nd of April and a week later again at Sandown Park. So it was a real good run of events for Kitty's Light by then. Had a run at Cheltenham Festival this year, 7th of 21, 40 to 1, a really decent run that day. Didn't ever get close to winning the race, but I thought it was a decent run and decent preparation for the Aintree Grand National. If this horse can get out that day, I really do like Kitty's Light uh, to give you a good run for your money. So one at a bit of a price here. It's a classy horse this. Galvin did unseat last year, a bit unlucky, but we know this horse will stay. We know he's a class act and he's had some real success in the past. A winner at Cheltenham Festival back in 2021 of Gold Cup 4th at Cheltenham Festival in 2022. And that's Tussle with Delta work back in 2023 in the Cheltenham Cross Country Festival where he finished second of 16 that day. So we know this horse has absolutely bags of ability, really is a class horse. I don't think the weight is too bad for Galvin either. Uh, 11 stone one, obviously would always prefer less, but I don't think that's bad for a horse of this ability. Yes, a bit disappointing last year in the national, but certainly at a price of 25 to one, if he gets a good run, I think there's certainly some value there to uh, for each, the each way market for Galvin and certainly fancy him to hit the frame if he gets a clear path. So next we move on to the one anti-post Grand National Gamble I've had here. Delta work, I managed to get him at 55 to one, which is around 33 to one each way. I think it's a big price for a horse with bags of ability, unlucky to unseat last year. When was well fancied for the national last year in this race. Prior to that, third in 2022. We know this horse can run well at Aintree. We know he's a previous Cheltenham winner, did back to back cross countries 
which is often a good sign for the national certainly feel that he's got bags of ability if he's if he can find some form nothing to note of uh, reasons uh, for delta work last run was in february six of eight but that's a much shorter distance two miles five furlongs this is much further than we know he can stay we know he will stay gordon elliott the trainer and one at a price i really do like the price here 33 to 1 if delta work and get a run good luck whatever you want in the national remember it's, it is a crazy race even with six fewer runners this year anything can happen karoke ramble i'll talk about separately but super skinny right now four to one nine to two ish a very interesting run at that but it's all the best if you're having a bet on the national this year and speak again soon.